Yellow just blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make it put it on. She don't like wearing clothes. Just left Concord, no Carolina. I was licking on booty in a whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream. She sure remember you. Ice cube make a gym. Shaving like the way do. Do sitting with the crew. I done did some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. Me and my goonies gonna be gripping the toolie They think it's a game to me and the gang is gonna play Call of Duty Cause when it comes to the static Oh my is steady active Catch you lacking in traffic Give a close close caskets I'm in my lane when I'm spinning the block and I'm putting the pain What up y'all, it's Nate Almighty aka the Global Dawskin Ambassador With another Rikers Island story This is about the Dominican kid who knocked out like 20 dudes And then turned YG now, I'm going to explain to y'all how I got reminded of this story. Okay, so I used to, I got a couple stories where I'm talking to y'all about what it was like when we was in Mar 3 Lower, right? Now, this is at the height of the YGs, right? The Gunners. This is when, you know, uh, the, the Gunners and OGs from Cortland got along. Some of the most fun times of my jail career. I ain't even going to lie. It was a lot going on. Um, this is when I explained how we was in Mar 3 Lower and me and, 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 and niggas from the hood that I grew up in. It was like me, T-Roy, um, L Boogie, Drewski, Bow Wow. Then you had a couple other dudes from the Bronx. Then you had, you know, um, Ken Gooney, 2Gs like Gucci from Harlem. Um... The, the youngest one out of all of us was this guy named uh, Teddy, who's also the most brolic. He's from Queens. It was about, it was, then it was um this gunner named Floyd and uh, uh, another dude named P who went to jail for murdering somebody over a lighter. Might be doing life right now, who knows? But I forgot, I forgot this one person. I forgot this one person who wasn't with us for that long, for that long. And his name was JT the Beast. And this is the man who this story is about because a while back when I was releasing these type of videos, talking about my time and Mar 3 Lower, where we was wilding, we was, you know what I'm saying? We was wilding, we was turning up. I get to inbox from somebody whose Instagram name was Trouble. And I'm like, yo, who is trouble, right? And I'm looking at his face. I'm noticing, okay, he got locks in his hair now. I mean, I'm looking like, who's this Spanish dude who got locks in his hair? And then he get to talking. He hit me up in the inbox. He like, hey, yo, bro, like, you talking about all the list shit that went on in Mark 3 Lower. You forgetting I'm, I was there with you. You forgetting I was there with you and all that. I'm like, yo, what? I'm like, yeah, you look familiar, but I don't remember nobody named Trouble who was there. He like, yo, man, JT the Beast, man, that was my name. Remember, I had the afro. I was YG under Shorty Rock. Now, I'm about 90% sure it's Shorty Rock who he said. It's Shorty Rock, and I, I'm 90% sure. I'm going to get him for an interview. He's going to go into detail about this story right here. But... This is a story. This dude, I don't know how it slipped my mind that over a matter of minutes, this dude became a legend. He became like a, like a quick legend within a matter of minutes. Now, I'm gonna rewind you to the beginning of the situation. Like I said, we and Marty Lowe at the time, we don't know who he is yet. We don't know who he is yet. JT the Beast is just coming into the island. He's in, he's in Mod 1. Mod 1 is the intake building. It's the mods. 50 beds, brand new dudes in there. You already know what that is, right? So, while he in the mods, he starting to get acclimated to the situation. He peeping the surroundings. At some current point in time, there's an issue that he has. It's either him by himself or it's him and maybe one person. Maybe I don't, I don't know if it was his Cody or just somebody who he got cool with in the intake dome. 
I'm going to have him on soon so he can go into detail about this. But something, something happened. I believe some of the SPAs, some of the SPAs, and the SPAs are people who've been on the island for a while, but they get paid to work the intake dome. And like, you know, try to like keep people from, from, um, from uh, commit suicide, little things like that. They help clean little things like that. And, and the most of what they do is extort people. New people coming into the island. Whether they got specific kind of sneakers, jeans, shirts, definitely pen numbers. They like to do that. That's why a lot of the most toughest people who are SPAs, they like to go to the intake house so they could get first dibs on everything. On everything. I'm talking about this, they'll go with they with they they'll go with a regular pair of shorts on, a pair of sweatpants, and at the time, you know, like true religions. Antique jeans, buffalo jeans was led at that time. You know, they'll pull one of the new dudes to the corner and be like, yo, listen, take these off before you get beat up. Simple. Take these off before we kill you in here. And if you're new to the island, you might think when they say we're going to kill you in here, it really means like somebody going to put a knife in your neck and you're going to die. And you're likely to give it up, right? So, anyway, something happened in the midst of some of the new dudes that was there here I'm having an issue with, who either it was just some of the new dudes, and it was a big thing with a whole bunch of dudes, or something to do with the SPAs and the new dudes. But something happens and a riot breaks out. I don't know if I don't know if it was a bunch of bloods trying to press him and extort him, and he just wasn't having it. I don't know exactly what the particular was because I was with Mar 3 Lower at the time. But something happened and it just ended up being him against like 10, 20 niggas. And either he was by himself or he was with one other person. And the thing that gave him a one up in this whole situation is he was a boxer. Nobody knew this. So mind you, we in Mar 3 Lower. So we in Mar 3 Law, people go to Law Library, people come back, and then people coming back, it's stories like, yo, man, yo, it was just a riot in the intake dorm. It was just a riot in the intake dorm. Like 10 niggas got knocked out. Like 20 niggas got knocked out. Yo, it was crazy, it was crazy. It was crazy, it was crazy. We like, what? We like, what? How did that happen, right? How did that happen? You know, minutes later, Minutes later, maybe an hour later, this new kid comes into the belt, comes into Mar 3 Lower, right? Comes in the hour side, along with a couple other dudes, right? So we sizing them up. We like, dare him, nigga, dare him, nigga, dare him, nigga, dare him, nigga. And now, basically, because we questioning all of them, yo, where you from? What you repping? This, that, and the third. What house you was in? What you think you gonna be doing here? We get to this Dominican dude with an afro. Dominican dude with an afro and all that. He like, yo, y'all say y'all OGs, it's gunners in here? We like, yeah, what's the problem? Right, cause we thinking maybe he got a problem with the gunners and all that. Cause like I said, this old, this one OGs was a branch off of YG at the time, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, they beef was our beef. We're like, yeah, like what's, what's, what's up? Like what's the issue? He like, nah, nah, I'm YG. I'm YG under Shorty Rock. I don't know if... <laughs> it's a nice day. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, so we don't know what's going on. Damn, she just distracted me. But anyways, anyways, she's like, yeah, I'm YG. What's gunning? I'm under Shorty Rock. I don't know if... I don't know if... I don't know at what point, maybe Shorty Rock was working SPA at the time, was working SPA at the time, and he was there when the riot happened. But at, but at some point right after that fight, Shorty Rock was like, yo, Shorty Rock was like, yo, you official. You trying, you trying to be YG, you under me. You under me. So in the process of him leaving Mar 1, he ends up, I, be I believe JT the Beast is from the Bronx too, the Bronx or Harlem anyway. So he might have would have ended up being good anyway. 
But in the process of the riot happening, he ran in, he runs into Shorty Rock, turns gunner, and then ends up in Mar 3 Lower. And we talking and all that. We like, yo, we talking. And first of all, he good. We piece it up with him. He already good at that point. And we talking to him. I'm like, yo, I heard it was just a riot over there and all that. Like, yo, what happened? He like, yo, man, that was me. I knocked like 20 of them niggas out. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> he like, yo, I knocked like 20 of them niggas out. Niggas tried to violate. Blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah. I'm like, what? That was you? He like, yeah, man. They ain't know I got them hands. They ain't know I got them hands. So JT was good money after that. Man. He was good. I don't know if he got moved to another house or he went to the box. He probably went to the box for that. Like I said, I got him on the gram. When he gets some free time, I'm going to have him pull up to the channel and we're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm not even sure if 100% of what I'm saying is right. But what I know I'm right about is the fact that he turned YG under Shorty Rock and he knocked out at least 10 niggas or something like that that same day. He he became some type of legend after that. All the other details, I'm going to have him on here to talk about. But that's exactly what happened for the most part. <laughs> like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.